Welcome back, guys. Great Outdoors 208. Tony Shields coming at you. All right, so here's the topic of the day. How long does wild game stay good in the freezer? I would say at least a year. And I've got living proof with me today. It's been about a year and a week since I harvested a 2018 pronghorn antelope out of Wyoming. Today I'm doing a cooking vlog and I'm going to cook up some antelope backstrap. But I want to take a minute to share what this looks like coming out of the freezer over a year later. Stick with me and check this out. Alright guys, as you can see I've got my antelope backstrap exactly how I packaged it up. It's even got the date on there, 10-12 of 2018, the lower backstrap. I think the reason I wrote lower backstrap is... When we were processing this, we ended up cutting the backstrap from about in half. So we did the upper and the lower, and we packaged it up that way. So that's what we've got here. We did a good old-fashioned wax paper. But we this year, we ended up using exterior masking tape, basically what you'd use to mask off a house to paint it. And it worked amazing on this wax paper. It was just airtight. And then on the inside, you're going to notice as we get this opened up, is that I always take my meat, wrap that in film or cellophane, and then you wrap it in your wax paper and then you tape it. And this has been a proven method over and over. I know a lot of people like to use a shrink wrapper or they like to use a food saver, and I totally get it. I use that kind of stuff with my snack sticks or my jerky. But when it comes to fresh game, you can't go wrong with using film, wax paper, and some good tape. It always works without fail. All right. Here we go, folks. Opening it up, I want you guys to see how amazing this meat is going to look. No freezer burn, no nothing. Every time, it's just flawless. Every single time. I've used this method forever because it's just tried and true. No bleeding. No nothing. Just amazing film. All around the meat. You can see how dark and amazing it is. We'll get this sucker open and then you can really check out the meat. It's just absolutely delicious. If you're not familiar with pronghorn, we, uh, we have them here in southern Idaho. There's, there's actually quite a few states that have them. I got this particular one out of Wyoming, in fact. I shot this in October of 2018. We were over there for three days. There was three of us, and we all tagged out. Saw thousands of antelope. Saw hundreds of mill deer. Just absolutely amazing. Trip of a lifetime, so couldn't be happier with what we harvested. But as you can see here, absolutely amazing. I mean, how are you going to beat that? Just the darkest, most delicious meat. We'll take off that silver skin, of course, before we cook it. But just look at that color. I just, I can't tell you enough about how amazing antelope is as a wild game meat. It's just so lean and delicious and just has an amazing flavor. And, and look at these back straps. They're absolutely delicious. And look how tender they are. Just amazing. Just ready to be prepared today. We're going to cut these into medallions. Season them up, sear them off to a medium rare. We'll be loving life. So, anyway, just wanted to show you all tried and true method of film, wax paper, masking tape. Can't go wrong every time it comes out just amazing. So, great method.